Hi, welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine and today we're going to continue talking about IELTS versus TOEFL. Which one should you take? We said that the answer is, it depends. Uh, we also said that the first factor is your current level and the score you need. Well, your current level. Usually we talk about levels. Actually, there's a reference. It's a common European framework of reference, CEFR. And it divides these three levels that we know as A, B, and C. And each of them is divided into A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, being A basic level and C advanced level. Now, these exams you're planning to take, IELTS or TOEFL, they give you a reference uh, of these levels. The reference is not exact for so many factors that you have to study and the exams are different and so. So I'm gonna show you what TOEFL and I tell you about what they say their scores mean in terms of ABC scale. Okay. Well, here IELTS gives us what they have analyzed. As you can see here, you have all the levels I told you about basic user, like a basic student, A1 and A2, independent user, intermediate, B1 and B2, proficient user, advanced, C1, C2. So IELTS is an academic exam and they tell you that they are going to explain now that the scores are from 0 to 9 and uh, the scores more or less reflect these levels. So. Um, from 4 to let's say 5, you are between a high basic and a low intermediate. 5.5 um, and above, you are an intermediate, high intermediate level. From 7 and above, for them, you uh, will have an advanced level. And for um, 9, a uh, very advanced for proficient user. This is IELTS. TOEFL doesn't have a scale as beautiful as this, as this one, but more or less, in they have C1, um, that is the highest, uh, the, the highest level that they present us, um, and they have some TOEFL scores that they have found, like average, that it's not in any of the exams, this is definite. But to, if you are at this level, advanced level, you will get these scores and they put it per skill, reading, listening, speaking, writing, total. This is the total. If uh, an advanced level will be uh, around 95 in the score. A high intermediate would be around 72. A low intermediate would be around 42 in TOEFL. And there they didn't find results for a uh, basic pre-intermediate level. This is what they show us. Now, these references are as a whole and also individually as a skill. You know, you can have a B1 level of English, but if we divide all your skills, maybe in speaking you are C1, but in writing you are a B2, for instance. So you can differentiate each, each skill by level. In the exams, they also have a total score and a score by skill. In, to in TOEFL, the minimum score is zero and the maximum score is 120 as a total. In IELTS, the minimum score is zero and the maximum score is nine. Now, when we talk about skill, they show uh, the results differently. TOEFL divides the four skills into 30 points. So in speaking, you can get from zero to 30, the same writing and listening reading. For IELTS, all the different skills are divided from zero to nine. So you can get a five in listening, a six in reading, a seven in speaking, and an eight in writing if you want. But they will have a final average of the score. So this is important because it depends on the score you need from the university you are trying to apply and the score and sorry and the level you currently have. Uh, usually if you are planning to study uh, for undergraduate st studies they will ask for a low score uh, as low as 54 TOEFL 
uh, which corresponds to four to five IELTS, I think, uh, which is uh, more or less a basic level of English. Uh, so if you your level is basic and you need a 50, then you're ready, you can prepare for the exams. But if you need, let's say, a 70 or an 80, you need an intermediate level, a 70 and 80 or a five, six, six IELTS, then you will need at least an intermediate level of English. So if you don't have that level, you need to study English before you start preparing for these exams. If you are applying for a graduate course, you will probably need uh, above 80, maybe in, in TOEFL 90 or 100, that would be IELTS 6.5 or 7. Those are high scores and the uh, level you currently need is an advanced level. If you don't have that level, don't study for the exams, study to learn English first, okay? That is my advice again. Now, how do you know your current level? Um, I have uh, selected some websites that can help you and you can tell me uh, first what is the level you think you have and then what is the level they told you you have. Some of them give you a, a rounded level total and some give you just the level by skill and some also only um, evaluate one skill. So I'm gonna give you all the links in the description. So enter it and see what your score is. So I want you to tell me in the comments, please, uh, which is the level you think you have, uh, which level do the pages tell you you have, which page did you use to see your current level, which you like the best. And also, if you are studying English, where are you studying or how are you studying? What do you think to you are going to do to improve it? It's a lot of questions, but please answer at least one of them. Thank you. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and see you soon.